Hi YouTube, today I want to show you a very stylish phone called the Neo M1. I ordered it from the official store at neomobile.me, but before I tell you about this phone, let's take a look at... It comes in a simple but stylish white box like this one. It comes with a 5V USB wall charger, a micro USB data slash charging cable, a tray opener, it also comes with some sort of Chinese um, warranty booklet or whatever that might be. And last but not least, it also comes with an English user's manual. This beauty has a 5 inch capacitive 5 point multi touch screen with a 720 by 1280 HD pixel resolution. It is an IPS display, it is supposed to be a one glass solution and it's supposed to have a gorilla glass. It has the MT6582 quad-core CPU inside, which is clocked at 1.3 GHz. It has 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal memory, but it also supports CF cards up to whatever. It runs on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. It is a quad-band, it is totally unlocked and of course it supports 3G slash UMTS. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, A-GPS, a G-Sensor, a Proximity Sensor, a Light Sensor and it also has a Magnetic Field Sensor so you can use it as a compass. It has two cameras, one main camera with a 13 megapixel output, autofocus and a LED flash and one front facing camera with an 8 megapixel output and this phone is a single SIM phone. Let's take a closer look at the device, you have your front facing camera right here, Proximity and Light Sensors are right there. Home, back and menu buttons are soft touch buttons. They do light up, but they are extremely dim. On the bottom you have your micro USB port and a microphone. On the left side you have two slots. One is for a micro SIM card and one is for your TF card. And the frame is actually a metal frame. And as you can see this phone is very, very slim. On the top you have a 3.5 mm headphone jack. On the right side you'll find your volume rocker and your power button and this is a reset button. On the back you have your main camera, your LED flash and the speakers are right here and inside there is supposed to be a 2000 mA battery. Some thoughts about this device, the build quality is very good. I like that it's so thin and I think this phone is extremely stylish. The display is very good as well. The contrast, colors and brightness and viewing angles, I think there is nothing you can complain about. The speaker is loud and clear. The GPS reception appear to be fast and strong. The Wi-Fi reception I would say is average, I have definitely seen better. Some cons, well I think it's too bad that there is no notification LED present. The backlight of the soft touch buttons is more or less a joke and the camera's LED flash could have been brighter just like on 99% of all the other phones I've seen so far. Bottom line, I think this is a very stylish phone for a good price. Like always, I installed additional apps and games for demonstration purposes. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, please leave comments and if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day! Let's see how this baby performs. As you can see, the stock launcher is pretty smooth and fast. But first of all, let's start with the system settings. Let's see what we have here. About the phone, as you can see, Android 4.4, 4.2.2 uh, Jelly Bean. I'm sorry about that. What do we have here? Language and input. Let's check out the installed languages. There you go. Let's check the uh, storage, so you can see the structure of the memory. And let's go into the engineer mode, so I can show you the supported frequencies. There you go, it's a quad band and those are the 3G frequencies. Since we are at the dialer, let's do a quick phone call so I can show you that the proximity sensor is working. There you have it, it works like a charm. And call. 
that should be enough. Where do we start? Let's check out some Google Apps. Let's start with YouTube. Now I have to make sure the volume is all the way down because I don't want to break any copyright laws. Let's just play a video. Can change the position. There's a video, let's watch it in full screen. And let me try to demonstrate the great viewing angle of this phone. There you have it. YouTube is working fine. Let's check out the Play Store, which comes pre-installed and it works out of the box, no problem at all. Let's try Google Maps. Let's check out a street view. Everything working fast and smooth and let's try out the compass. As you can see the compass is working. But I can also show you the compass again with a compass app. There you go. Let's do a little browsing. Let's check out a bookmark. Let's try the BBC homepage. Let's see how fast it rotates. And let's try to open the desktop site so you can see if this phone can handle a larger website as well. Works great. Again the rotation. No problem at all. What to do next? What does Antutu have to say? It scores at around 70,000 points, which is normal for the MT6582. Let's check out some device information. There you go, those are the supported sensors. But I can also show you the sensors again with CPU-Z. Again, some system information. And there are your sensors again. Let's check out the uh, gallery. Let's see what we have here. Let's watch some wallpapers. Screen rotation. It's very fast. Let me zoom in a little. Let me zoom out and scroll through the pictures. Looks very nice. Let's try out a video. Now this video is a 1080p video in a MKV format. I don't know if you can see this but the colors look very nice. And let me try again to show you the fantastic viewing angle. Now I just rotated it. There you go, that's the gallery app. Let's try Adobe Reader. Now PDF documents are usually one of the toughest documents for a phone to handle. And this one looks extremely fast and smooth. Again, let's do a rotation. Looks very nice. Let's do some, oh no, let me try the camera first. <laughs> let me take a quick sample picture here. Of course you can really see the picture quality, but I can show you some specs of the pictures. Let's see the details. That's a 13 megapixel output and a f2.4 and I think I have a picture from the front facing camera also. Let's check out the details. That's an 8 megapixel output and f2.8. What to do next? Let's do a little more benchmarking. Let's start with Nina Mark 2 and since watching benchmarks is 
boring. I'll do a fast forward. Fast forwarding right now. The benchmark is running. Da -da 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 -da. It'll take a while, but pretty soon the benchmark will be over and we will see a result. Let's see how high this phone can score. Doop -doop -doo. And it's done and it scores at... 53 frames, frames per second. And of course we also like to do another benchmark called Quadron Standard. Okay, run full benchmark. And again, this is boring, so I'm gonna do a jump cut. Done. And we score at 5,842 points. Is there anything else I can show you right here? Yes, maybe the music player. Because this is a music player I've never seen before. No, that was just the app. Where is the music player? There it is. Albums. Let's just do this one here. I have to make sure the volume is off. There you go. Last but not least, let me show you the viewing angles of this device and do a little gaming. Please make sure to check out the official website. The link can be found in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.